Threat actors and cyber criminals commonly use various password-based attacks such as brute force, dictionary-based phishing, and credential stuffing to exploit security vulnerabilities that are related to users' passwords that are configured on their online accounts, systems, and files. These vulnerabilities often stem from common human behaviors such as using simple, predictable passwords or reusing passwords across multiple accounts. Additionally, vulnerabilities can arise from system-level issues such as inadequate password policies or lack of account lockout mechanisms. Ethical hackers and penetration testers use password-based attacks to determine whether an organization has configured weak or unsecure passwords on its systems with the goal of helping the organization improve its security posture and resilience against cyber attacks. For instance, imagine if the IT professionals within a large organization were to store the passwords for their critical systems on a password-protected Microsoft Excel workbook stored on a centralized server within the company's network. If a cyber criminal were to compromise the organization and exfiltrate the password protected file, the hacker would be able to perform offline password based attacks to retrieve the valid password for opening the file. Furthermore, imagine the impact when the hacker retrieves all the passwords within the file and accesses the critical systems of the targeted organization. While this scenario may sound unbelievable, there are many organizations around the world that store their passwords in text files and other types of documents on their servers. The following are various types of password based attacks. In a brute force attack, every possible combination is tried against the system. This is a very time-consuming process, as every possible password combination is tested against the authentication system of the target until the valid password is retrieved. While this method may seem to be the best method, the time constraints given for completing a penetration test are often not achievable. In a dictionary attack, the threat actor uses a pre-populated word list that contains thousands or even millions of candidate passwords. These are tested against the authentication system of the target. Each word from the word list is tested. However, the attack will not be successful if a valid password is not found within the word list being used by the threat actor. This is a common technique that's used by many people, even threat actors and penetration testers, who are attempting to gain unauthorized access to a system. I have often seen IT professionals use simple and even default passwords on their networking devices, security appliances, and even the client and server systems within their organization. For instance, by performing a Google Dork using common default passwords, you will easily find default passwords for various systems. These default passwords are set by the manufacturer of the device. In this technique, the threat actor uses various tools and techniques to retrieve valid user credentials to gain unauthorized access to a system. Sometimes, a threat actor may capture a user's password in transit across a network in plain text by an unsecure network protocol, or even retrieve the cryptographic hash of a password. This is the technique where a threat actor uses a single password and tests it against an authentication system with different usernames. The password is a guessable password, obtained from data breaches or a word list. The idea is to test which user account within a specific list uses the same password. This technique is good when testing which users within the organization's network use weak or common passwords. This technique allows a threat actor to use a common word list of usernames and passwords against the authentication system of a target host. This technique checks which combination of usernames and passwords leads to valid user credentials. In an online password attack, the threat actor attempts to gain unauthorized access to a host that is running a network service or a remote access service. This allows authorized users to log into the system across a network. A simple example of an online password attack is a threat actor attempting to retrieve the username and password of a valid user to gain access to a server that is running the remote desktop protocol. Keep in mind that online password attacks focus on using a combination of passwords from a word list directly on a web login page or network service interface until the correct one is found. All right, everyone. If you found this video useful, please have a subscribe and don't forget to thumb up.